In my excitement to hype the, the new red Scarlet X, I forgot to mention a tiny little detail. For $9,750, you're not going to be able to shoot anything with the camera. That's why on Red's website now they have several different packages that uh, are set up so that you can shoot from the get-go. So what I've been looking into the past couple of days is what's the cheapest way to get a Red Scarlet up and running. So basically if you take the $14,000 package which comes with the, uh, the Canon aluminum mount, you subtract the Red LCD from that which is $1,600 on its own and you subtract one of the uh, red batteries, which is $195. You come out to $12,220. Um, you have to build this package alone, and I'll put a list of the items below. That is the absolute minimum that you need to spend to actually be able to record with the uh, Scarlet X. Now, at $12,220, you're not going to be able to view an image of what you're recording, um, but you'll be able to, con well, you're not going to be able to view the image and you're not going to be able to control the menu without looking at some kind of screen. So if you don't have a little monitor that you use with your um, DSLR that you're using now, or if you'd like to upgrade to something new, the cheapest and best bet would be to get the small HD 4-inch uh, LCD. So it's a 4-inch LCD that has a variety of different uh, options for for viewing content, it has a one-to-one -one mode, it has options for anamorphic viewing and, and setting aspect ratios, and it's $549 um, without the eyepiece. So, and if you want the, the strap-on eyepiece that allows you to, to use it out in daylight, um, it's an extra $200. So, basically, from scratch, um, shooting with nothing else, if you wanted to get the camera up and running, you'd be looking at $12,769. And I put the list below of, of the way to do that. Now, it's certainly easier just to order the red $14,000 package. But if you're saving pennies and every single way and want to scrape by and, and get a Scarlet, um, that's the cheapest way to go. Now, as far as lenses, of course the, the Scarlet doesn't come with a lens. It comes with the uh, Canon mount, so if you're upgrading from a Canon DSLR, you'll at least have one lens that'll work on the camera. If you have Nikon lenses, and they are the, the pre-digital lenses, and they have a movable aperture, let's see, I've got one around here somewhere, um, like so, you can use a cheap adapter from eBay that will convert from Nikon to, to Canon until RED has an electronic Nikon mount. So no, the Scarlet isn't under $10,000 to get it running. It's a little under thirteen dollars to get the, the camera actually running, and depending on taxes in your state, uh, maybe a little bit over that. But um, still a fantastic deal for what it is. Better than a, a RED 1, and uh, certainly, uh, you know, you're talking about a 12-bit RAW camera with a uh, Super 35 sensor. Actually, it's larger than that, but you can only record usable motion in 4K mode. Anyway, I thought that would be useful for anybody looking into the, the camera and, uh, and look forward to uh, showing samples.